Hello and welcome to Android Zoo. I'm uh, Navneet Kataria. I'm the Senior Marketing Manager here in Morgan Hill, California. Uh, today's video is about uh, the latest uh, product, uh, the latest edition in our family uh, where we excel in high frequency, high specification stuff, but miniaturizing the designs that we have. So the latest edition in the family is what you can see here on our desk. This product is called as Echo Sin Lite and the model number is MG36021A. This is a very small form factor from 10 megahertz to 20 gigahertz synthesizer. It can be pushed to 21 gigahertz, but the guaranteed specifications are up to 20 gigahertz. The four main parameters that we really boast about and we are proud of the technology that we bring to the market. Number one is the small size of this product. It is so small that I'm actually carrying one in my pocket. And this, by the way, is not a dummy. It's a real unit. And as you can see, the dimension is so small. It's a four inch by four inch by 0 0.8 inch kind of a dimension. It goes up to 20 gigahertz. And there are four mo uh, most important specifications. The first one is, of course, the frequency range. Number two is the dimension. Number three is the power consumption. It really consumes extremely less power. So when you are putting this into an ATA environment as being used as a clean LO source, you just don't have to worry about power consumption. If uh, ATE customers want a LO source, again, clean source, they can put it into their own ATE uh, you know, racks, which have cooling. If the cooling is there, good. If not, and you would like to use this as a standalone module, there are some optional accessories available from Enritsu, which adds a heat sink and on top of that, a fan to it so that it cools down. Uh, if you see uh, closely, uh, the ports which we have provided to the customer is, defi uh, is definitely the RF out. We, ha we have a 10 megahertz reference in, and we also have a 10 megahertz reference out for our customers to use the 10 megahertz out. Uh, we, we, for the communication part, we have the control through SPI interface and there's a USB connector as well. Plus there is a 12 volt supply for the fan which goes on the top. Uh, the most important parameter about this guy is the phase noise specification. Because nowadays the requirement for a clean clock is so huge for high speed uh, DAX and ADC testing that more and more people are asking for high frequency clock. And that is where I wanted to showcase this small demonstration. We have connected this module to a spectrum analyzer, which is again from Android 2, goes up to 54 gigahertz. Right now we have configured it to 20 gigahertz only. And you can see if you buy a normal signal source, you will see the phase noise specifications like this for a signal. However, what you get with this box, and this is for demonstration purpose, the moment you buy this box, you, you, you might have noticed that the phase noise actually went down. So the specification for this product for the phase noise is minus 126 dB, dBc per hertz at 10 gigahertz at 10 kilohertz offset. So that is really good for a very, very uh, precise clock when you talk in terms of jitter phase noise is equivalent to jitter in time domain. So you're getting a very, very good clock in this small form factor. You can use it as a secondary clock. You can use it as a, you know, LO source. You can use it as a CW source. Plus the other specification is the output power. So this guy pumps in this small factor, form factor plus 18 dBm of output power. And the third specification that we really like and a lot of customers like about it is the switching speed. This guy can switch speeds at 50 microseconds in a list mode. So when you have ATE where you want to switch from one frequency to the other, you use this guy. If you want a clean LO source, you use this guy. If you want a precise clock, you use this guy. And I can tell you that there are some models which are available probably in the same form factor, but probably only up to six gigahertz and cannot be used for a uh, high speed DAX and ADC clocking. So this guy, since it goes up to 20 gigahertz, you can use this as a pure clock as well. So 
uh, this product is going to be released at IMS. Uh, this week we are putting the technical data sheets out on our website as well. You are most welcome to come to IMS and uh, we have a private showroom as well where we are showcasing almost a similar de demo plus few more things uh, for our customers. So please stop by at IMS and have a look at this product. This is going to be very, very useful. Thank you so much for watching.